Welcome to Divine Light Life Mastery Teachings, channeled by Ophenia and Sikal with the Family of Light. In this session, we connect with Archangel Metatron and Ascended Master Pallas Athena for a channeled spiritual message. Metatron and Pallas Athena offer you a stabilization of your energetic field to receive their message clearly and powerfully. They share an important concept to work with, to connect with in your earthly incarnation. Is the notion of how to deal with the emotion of fear. There are many energetic flows, available thoughts, insights around how to deal with the emotion of fear. For some, it paralyzes. For others, it stirs into action. A key concept is to witness your fear. Witness if it is your fear or what part of it is your fear. Whether you are empathing or telepathically picking up on the fear or fearful thoughts of others, of the collective. You can seal yourself off from those thoughts and emotions and the part that is yours be a witness to this. Facing your fears holds truth to a degree and is more or less relevant to different situations. Witnessing and being aware of your fears is the message offered at this time. Seeing the fear, knowing it is there, allowing yourself to not be controlled by it, to be free of it. Witnessing its presence, but not allowing yourself to be overtaken by, dominated by the fear. After determining if the fear is yours or what part of the fear is truly yours within your energetic field, The witnessing and being aware of the fear and the nature of the fear is very important. For this then sets you up, they share, to take action. And the most powerful, singular action at this time 
in your earthly incarnation. is to find your spiritual symbol of faith. A spiritual symbol of faith means different things to different souls. For some, there will be connections to religion, for others to spiritual practices, for others to connections to your guides, your spirits, the family of light, Mother Gaia, for others symbolism in books or other items, nature. Sit in sacred space with your spirit and your support teams and allow your spirit and support teams to bring to you your most potent number one spiritual symbol of faith. Once you have a clear image, a feeling, an emotional connection, a mental connection, a spiritual connection to this symbol of faith, hold on to this, project your energy through it and allow it to alleviate the fear. Allow it to move aside reduce, negate the fear. You will find as you connect to this symbol of faith as received from your spirit and support teams, the direct power, spiritual divine power of your spirit and support teams will allow you to dissipate the fear. Find your deep grounding in the core of Gaia, your deep connection to Source, your sovereignty as a soul, as a spirit in an earthly incarnation, a spiritual mission unfolding. And so, The steps are witnessing and analyzing the fear. Close off, seal up from what is not yours. Bring through your spiritual symbol of faith and flow energy through this into the fear, alleviating the fear and spiritually empowering yourself. Practice with this until it becomes second nature. It will serve you well. You are a being of light. A being of light has nothing to fear when embracing the truth of its self, light. Light up what you fear, look at it, hold it, embrace it. Witness the reactions within. Dig deep into all areas of these reactions. Where are the roots of this fear? What are the controlling mechanisms of this fear? Light it up. 
Feel these illusions, these rooms of fear with light, every corner, every crack, every hidden fold. Open it up and light it up so you may see the truth. The truth. The divine light of who you truly are and what you may truly experience when aligned in truth. There is no fear when you are aligned with truth. Find the roots, find the areas and light them up. And when you align with the truth of the situation, even though the mind, the lower mind and the personality may express this is a problem, this situation is too challenging, too scary, creating reactions and emotions and dramas and future nightmares or playing out past nightmares that will happen again. Align with your truth. Light it all up. What is it that's making me truly fear this? What is it? It's an illusion. Pull the roots out and look at them. Why? Do I water these plants of fear? Why do I look at them and believe that they are real? Why do I act upon this fear? Why do I live my life according to this fear? Why do I decide from this fear? Why do I act, react due to this fear, this illusion? It is fake to remind you to align with your truth, align with your truth, the divinity of who you truly are, the being of light that you truly are. When you are aligned with this truth, there is nothing to fear. Fear does not exist in the light. Feel the light, see the light, know the light, trust the light, hold to the light. Use your faith, your trust, witness the fear, light it up, pull the roots, research it. So you understand where these roots may grow again. Witness when you may water them so they grow stronger and more powerful and deeper into your system. Begin to light up every area of this fear so you may truly align to your highest truth or even to small truths, bit by bit, coming more into your own spiritual light. And every time you do, you will feel the higher frequency, the click, the knowing, the yes, the feeling of flow pouring through your field, the alignment which will bring joy and freedom. Deepest blessings of love, of truth, of wisdom, of deep, stable peace in your heart and your mind. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So be it, so be it, it is done.